it's awesome for me just to go out, feel awesome, like have an awesome time, not worry about anything, not feel these triggers, not feel un un uneasy about things. And um, yeah, like, you know, when people say things these days now, I'm just like, it's a good laugh. I laugh with them and, you know, talk to them back and have jokes with them back too, not, not take it to heart sort of thing. I initially came into the Brain Wellness Spa just to um, deal with my overthinking and anxiety. Um, I've been, I went to counsellors beforehand and did many things to try help me out through like my anxiety and overthinking and all the other stuff that was linked to it, but none of that actually worked. So um, it was a lot harder for me to find that right place to go to and um, Brain Wellness Spa is a place um, I was lucky enough to come and um, find. Um, I'd been suffering with anxiety for probably a good five to eight years. Um, it came on early, uh, probably when I was 12, it probably started to kick in a bit. When I was young, I was fine, had no stress, no anxiety. Um, and I think just as soon as I transitioned from primary school to high school is when things and patterns of different patterns of behavior started to happen within me, myself, and I could definitely feel that I was impacting myself, but also people around me could also tell that I was more stressed, anxious, overthinking it was all negative or negativity which was um hard for me to uh, take in at times just because I never wanted to be that person to portray that sort of attitude. I think my anxiety would be to present itself as quiet but it's hard to hard to um control at times. There's days when I um before I came into the brain wellness spa and when I was younger and even later early on this year there were days that I just um just was real anxious overthinking just I couldn't think straight my head was all over the place so um yeah it was um quiet and I'd say it was probably just um yeah harming me um the anxiety I did have uh it um was affecting my relationships with my family and friends just because I'd be not doing not going out with family and friends um I'd be real OCD I'd need to have things done in a certain way um there'd be certain triggers that would trigger me so if someone says something as a joke it would be differently put through my head, like processed differently to what other people think. It was, um, yeah, a jumble of different things that sort of were in my head that were just no need to be there. It started real, it was real, um, really quiet when it started. It was just this um, chatter in my head that was just saying, do this or this is going to happen, do that or this is going to happen. Um, and I think me reacting to that voice in my head that was telling me to do that started all these trigger effects, which was saying a prayer, um, which was, um, I couldn't shake that habit off and it was really annoying, just um, it wasn't who I was. Um, and it was also just complete severe OCD. Um, this chatter in my head was saying, move that now, do this, if you don't move that, this is gonna happen. Um, and it was like about a prayer, it would be, not be just a simple prayer, like, oh, it would be like, if I don't do something, I'll be like saying a prayer about it and I'll be like, oh, don't make anything bad happen to my family or something like that. It was just silly prayers and then I don't know what it was. I could not shake it off, but ever since I've been here, I'm a completely different person. It's probably a silly thing, but different people have different um, triggers um, and the trigger for me to try to wipe the anxiety off was this prayer and if I didn't do this prayer, this is going to happen, but now I just completely, it's, non it's non-existent in me now and yeah. I just feel stoked about it all. So yeah, coming into the, my first session, um, yeah, I was um, nervous. I was yeah, if I'm being completely honest, I was nervous about it. Um, going to counsellors beforehand and in the past, I always sort of held what I was feeling in, just because I didn't want to. It's hard to talk to someone about that stuff, and um, I guess I was nervous just to talk about it, but also see what results would happen if it would fix me. What would it do to my mind, and what's going to happen to me if I do do it? The feeling I felt in my first session, I couldn't believe how I was feeling. Um, it just felt silent, calm. There was just this calmness about me I've never ever felt before. Um, I just had this um, real, like, I felt real empowered, real empowered after that session. I felt confident, I felt self-control, I felt like happiness and like being able to feel that. And then I went home that night and I could just feel our different energies coming off me, which was awesome. And um, also, um, family can always feel that, my friends can feel that, and now just to this day, it's been awesome. I first noticed responding and changing my behaviours positively to this was when um, probably my third session, 
Um, it was easier for me to go out in public and talk to people without having to really do my triggered behaviours, which was probably saying a prayer if something happened, um, OCD behaviour, which was if I don't do this, this is going to happen. Um, yeah, and it was probably after that third session, my whole mind just started changing and it's just changed the person I am now, I believe. So, yeah. People just said that I was not relaxed. Um, earlier on, people were saying I was, wasn't relaxed. I was constantly asking questions and mum and me mates would be like, what are you talking about? Like, um, some of the things I was saying and worrying about was just ridiculous. And um, I think it's just um, people, like mum definitely and my whole family and my close mates have also seen the change in me now and I've just, um, it's just been able to have a joke in that, but now I just feel real confident about myself and um, they've seen the change in me just being more outgoing now. Like um, I was never not outgoing, but now I'm just more open to having the conversations with them, not anxious and that, and now I'm just accustomed to ask questions if I need to. I'm never gonna overthink that now, so yeah. You know, I was up and down at school. Um, I was up and down playing sport. I was sort of couldn't be bothered going anywhere some days and I'd always have an excuse to do, like not do things. Um, and the difference now in my mind is just, right now in my mind it's clear. I've got a clear um, clear sight, I guess, uh, of what I want to do in the future. Um, and everything I'm just letting, like it's making me feel more comfortable now just to let things happen um, instead of dwelling over things that do happen. And just it's easier for me to let things go. My mind's free. My mind's just calm, real calm, which is awesome. I reckon if you if you're listening to uh, if you're listening to this video, um, I would recommend um, anyone, any of any ages that do struggle with overthinking, anxiety, or even just a little bit of worry. Um, I recommend it to everyone. Just it's an amazing experience to come to do. Um, you'll never regret it, and um, it's changed me completely. Truly really grateful for the Brain and Wellness Group and also for Ryan for helping me through um, changing me as a person, I guess. As an 18 year old, it's, I guess, not many people talk about having overthinking and anxiety and all this sort of depression and stuff. And um, being so young, I was so uptight and worried about it before this Q&R therapy because I didn't want to have to feel like this for the rest of my life. Um, and it was just making me feel real, real like, um, how do I say it? it was, making me feel real like um, I was pretty um, upset with myself just because I couldn't shake this, I don't know, I guess this cloud that was over me off. And I guess coming to the Q&R therapy now, it's been easier for me. It's just completely wiped that cloud away and um, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, Q&R therapy to me has just completely changed my mind. It's, I never felt like, I never knew that it's like magic. I never thought this was possible.